Hello, in this video, I will show how to reduce the color variability of the skin tone in 3D LUT Creator. Let's consider what the color variability of the skin is. If I press the degrade button, all the colors in the photo will influence the curve's shape. In this case, the big red spot will affect the final curves. So I will mask out everything but the skin. I switch the mask to the HSPE AB distance mode. In this mode, the mask is based on the proximity of the color to the color sample. The distance is measured in HSPE color model. I select the color that I will use to build the mask. For the skin colors, I want the mask to be white and the other colors should be covered with a black mask. I got the mask that also affects the hair, but for this example, it's fine. For the degrade procedure, I can activate the mask by pressing the masked button. When I press the degrade, the masked off areas will be ignored and the curves will be created only for the skin colors. I invert the curves. The last thing I need to do is a black and white image based on the green channel. Here I got the skin without color variability. Notice that the color distribution in the shadows and highlights remain as close to the original image as possible. Let's check the hue. It was 23 in the shadows, now it is 21. It was 29 in the highlights, now it is 28. That is, it's not just the color filling the entire image with one color. In this case, for each brightness level, the prevailing hue of that brightness level is chosen. But as we see, the portrait got worse. Even if you do not take the lips into account, the blush from the cheeks disappeared, the red reflexes disappeared, the pinkness of the fingers disappeared, the pallor of the hand disappeared. However, all these details made the skin alive. Sometimes it seems that without them the picture will be better, but if you remove them completely, then the portrait becomes unnatural. For another example, you can build a gradient map based on other channels. I choose the red channel, I press degrade, invert the curves, and move the points to the red channel. In the red channel, there were much less details of the skin, so the skin became softer as a result of this operation. Now, I will build the curves on the basis of the blue channel. A black and white image should also be made on the basis of the blue channel. In this case, the texture of the skin increased. As you understand, it is a bad idea to remove the color variability completely on portraits. The skin should have areas with different saturation and color. I will return to the curves based on the green channel. Let's see what characteristics affect the naturality of the skin tone. There is a master section on the mask tab. The master effect is applied at the end of the processing chain and it allows you to change the correction depth of individual color characteristics. That is, you can reduce the change of luminance, hue, or saturation. Now, I've got the original image. I will add different characteristics and see what changes. If you apply only the luminance component of the correction, only the contrast will change. If you enable a change in the hue only, the color of the face and the skin on the shoulder will begin to converge. On the original image, the face is pinker and the shoulder is greener. And after such a correction, they will be of the same hue. But at the same time, the cheek became not so pink. And the portrait does not look completely unnatural. That is, such a correction can be quite useful. I remove hue changes for now and apply the saturation correction. It is clearly visible that the saturation affects the naturality of the skin. I kept the original color and lightness of the image, but as soon as I removed the saturation variability, I immediately got the feeling of a sepia-style picture. Therefore, I will restore the saturation to its original state. I will only apply the luminance and hue. At the same time, the photo does not lose its naturality so much. If you use the mask on specific areas, it will be quite applicable in order to reduce skin redness. If I send this LUT to Photoshop, I can apply it to the areas I need using Mask. In this way, you can even the skin tone and remove the color spots from the photo while keeping the skin natural. That is, I left the saturation variability and I only remove the variability of the color shade. That's all. I hope this lesson was useful to you. In the next video, I will show you how to increase the color variability. Bye, everyone.